Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. Okay? Here we go. Well, you know what? It doesn't surprise me some of the things that I'm seeing here in all of our cards because we really are <clears throat> still trying to navigate, you know, what just happened to us through COVID and all. So this shows that um, the journey that you expected, the things that you wanted to happen has been slightly delayed. Um, but not to give up on it because it's still on its way. Okay, really, for real. Um, and temperance in reverse does show that emotionally you may be a little upside down or a little over over emotional or stunned somehow and i'd say i'm going to say that you know you're full inside feeling pretty full okay um but the world card shows up at the end of the day and that is a fantastic card and tells me that things are about to get on track so you may have had you know a, lot, a, a difficulty the last little while but i'm going to say that uh, this month, as we're starting to go into the middle of the month, it's going to get a whole lot better for you. I mean it. So cancer season hasn't been the absolute best, but as soon as Leo season hits, you're going to start being in the game in a way that you've been waiting for and wanting for a really long time. So you only got a couple of, maybe a week, week and a half to wait before things start to shift in your favor. So keep that in mind. Okay, it's going to be better. It's going to come along and it's going to make you feel uh, liberated. Okay, very liberated. Let's talk about love. Ha, ah, let's talk about love. You probably haven't been putting quite enough energy into love. So it tells me to tell you to put some more energy into it. Uh, what do you want to do with it? What, do you want to be more involved in the one you're in or do you want to move on to get a new one? Um, or do you have you been sitting on your own, on your laurels for a long time and not allowing love in? This is a, a thing that you might want to consider, that it's time to start uh, looking at improving that love by engaging and embracing it in a good way. Okay, so love. And then finally, also around love, it does tell me to remind you to be selfless when it comes to love not selfish okay just keep that in mind it's not all about you sometimes it's about them okay <laughs> sorry i don't mean to tell the cancer how to be but that's a fact that's what it says let's look at health well like i said you've been probably experiencing a little bit of depression and sadness because things are taking too long and you really need to pick up the energy and you really need to be more involved and more embraced by those around you. So I'm going to say that, um, you know, address the issues that are making you feel sad. Address the issues that are making you feel depressed. Address them. Talk to yourself. Talk to others. Let it out. Okay? So let's also look now at <clears throat> money. Uh, looks like you may you're trying to do what you love you're trying to be in a career where you are passionately involved and maybe the money's not flowing in as fast as you need it to or it's going out as fast as it's coming in either way that's been a struggle for you over the last little while and it may continue for a month or more okay but change will come and <clears throat> opportunity will find you. You may need to let go of the things that aren't that aren't actually making money for you and focus more on the things that are making the money. Okay? Give that some thought. 